Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at resource scoping for uh, Google Cloud's global infrastructure. So we were just talking about zones, and I was saying that you can, uh, when you launch a resource, sometimes you choose a single zone or multiple zones, and that comes into resource scoping, okay? So I just wanna talk a little bit more or reiterate on zones one more time. So a zone is a deployment area for Google Cloud resources within a region. Zones should be considered a single failure domain within a region and uh, deploy redundant resources in multiple zones, multi zones zones for fault tolerance and high availability, okay? So let's now talk about product or resource scoping. So the idea is you can launch a resource uh, in a single zone, in a single region. So this is a zonal resource. You have uh, regional resources. This is where uh, a resource resides in multiple zones in a single region. You have multi-regional resource. So resources reside across multiple specific zones. You have a global service. This is where resources reside globally and regions and zones are abstracted away. Very common with serverless services, okay? And then you have internal services. These are foundational services used by many other services. You don't interact with these services directly. They're managed by Google, such as Spanner, Colossus, Borg, and Chubby, okay? So uh, the reason I bring this up is that, you know, I saw a question or two on the exam and they were using this terminology. And so, you know, it just helps you to kind of frame that question better if you know uh, resource scoping, okay? 